Okay, <clears throat> so what, what would you say in advice to uh, increase the value of a product or a service mm -hmm. so that they can pay you more for it? Um, being relatable. Okay. Yeah, you know, like, you know, you got to talk about your past. Yes, we have the nice cars, we live in a nice house, uh -huh. but you have to be relatable to people. Tell your story, That's what cool. you did before, yeah, you know? Yeah, like yeah. us, you know, yeah, we yeah, come yeah, we come yeah. from our background. We yeah. didn't always have yeah, this. Yeah, our yeah, parents yeah, didn't yeah. have money. Yeah. So you tell your audience that, hey, I did this, this is how I did it. I think that's the most yeah. valuable. Hundred percent, man. Yeah. I, I always tell them. I always tell them the same thing. Yeah. You get. I've I've learned that also through. I think we everything that he's saying, like all these like value that he's giving to you guys, like you gotta appreciate because like, it's yeah. he, his experience. Yeah. And I can see it's because I also like when I started growing everything. I started doing everything more professional, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I used to even have like a camera guy 24 hours with me. Yeah. But the people, it started to be very professional. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they started, they didn't relate with me that much, you know, because yeah. I used to be like selfie, phone, and I was like so professional. Yeah. And I learned they didn't like that, you know, and mm -hmm. I started to be like, oh, like you're like over there and I'm yeah. here. It's like, yeah. no, no, we're the same person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like we're just in a different step of the, of the of stairs, right? right? Yeah, exactly. So that's very important. You're going to be relatable. And always i feel i like to connect obviously the same mm -hmm. way like a little bit with um your past what you like yeah. you know it's like yeah. i always have this example i used to sell alarms like <clears throat> when i used to years ago in my mm -hmm. country yeah i feel the hardest job is sales yeah like when you get a sales job yeah. imagine like the sales job here selling alarms yeah. and in this heat i would literally be walking yeah. knocking doors that's selling. the best that's yeah. the best job you could get yeah you best job a sales job to yeah. learn and I remember like, dude, I, there'll be no, 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 no. And yeah. I was like, fuck, everyone is telling me no, you know? Yeah. And I just say, I will be like, what the fuck <laughs> can I say? And yeah. I remember like, I remember this moment I, I pulled up in the door <clears throat> and I knocked and the guy had like a Mini Cooper. Yeah. He had like a Mini Cooper, the good one that works. Uh, you know, there's like one that, like a special one that's like yeah. very fast. Yeah. So I remember my sister is in love with the car. I mean, she couldn't afford it, obviously. <laughs> but I, I faked it, like, you know, it's like, oh, instead of saying, I knocked and be like, hey, you want an alarm, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, I've seen you have this mini. They're like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like, like, actually, my sister wants to buy one. Are you mm -hmm. selling it? Yeah. And the guy was like, oh, like he started talking about the car or this <laughs> shit. So now he kind of like, I was his friend, right? Yeah. And after that conversation, I was like, oh, by the way, and I sold him the alarm, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then I saw that like, shit, dude, you can't just like knock yeah. at someone and sell something. Yeah, exactly. You know, just try to connect like in some right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then one of the things that, you know, I struggled when I was becoming like, uh, trying to be an entrepreneur, yeah. or even high school when mm -hmm. I moved to United States, was my accent. I yeah. didn't like it. I yeah. didn't like how I talk. But the thing is that you got to show your insecurity yeah, 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 yeah every human is not perfect yeah, you know? yeah, yeah everybody has insecurities yeah so if people see that mm. and you're more relatable to them yeah you know? yeah, yeah so yeah. you know i have an accent you have an accent yeah, yeah. and the you know? funny thing is that in the u.s they <laughs> like accents yeah, ma yeah. Ma many places maybe not but like as you say i feel you're totally right there everyone yeah. has insecurities it doesn't yeah. matter how you look how much money you have everyone has like some things they don't like and as you yeah. say it's it's not bad to just say it like hey there's mm -hmm. that just like everyone is human even like you have all this fame all this money whatever it's you still a fucking human so yeah like everyone exactly. and that's that's very important right okay <clears throat> so what what importance you gave to the mindset for entrepreneurship and to make money do you, how important do you think is a mindset i think having positive mindset is is very important like you wake up and uh, you know you have to have a positive mindset because what I do like when I wake up in the morning yeah. I don't look at my phone for 30 minutes okay. I basically meditate and like think about all the positive things I can do yeah. because if you pull up your phone as soon as you wake up you see anything negative yeah. your day is already ruined yeah. Yeah. you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so you gotta have like a very positive mindset yeah. and um, you just have to have a mindset where like you want to keep going yeah you know yeah. like you make you make one million why not make yeah. two million yeah. next yeah. year right yeah. 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 so you just gotta have this mindset because entrepreneurs we don't retire. Yeah, we work yeah. until we die. You yeah, know? I know, I know. So, I think having that mindset is like really good. Yeah. Like po always, always have positive mindset, and also if you have like positive people around you, and if you have negative people around you, reduce your time with them. Yeah. If, if it's your family, you know, I understand, but reduce your time because yeah. friends, you can. 
negative friends you can get rid of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. family, you know, just reduce your time. You much feel exactly. better. Exactly. Hundred percent. I agree with you so much. I feel it's about surrounding yourself with people that are like positive, like mine. Like yeah. also when you like starting to like make it right, you're mm -hmm. an employee, whatever. Yeah. You tell your friends what you want to do. They're like, ah, oh, that's yeah. impossible. Blah blah <laughs> blah. So it's just like trying to get you down. Mm -hmm. You know, if you see those people, just don't don't surround yourself. Yeah. And they're like, I see many times, and they're like, oh, but they're my friends. You know, like he's been my friend since he's a kid. It's like I don't yeah. I don't care, dude. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just not easy. You know, yeah. it's just like you have to surround yourself with like people that are like trying to like put you yeah. up yeah not put you down right exactly so <clears throat> so okay the, I was gonna ask you your habits as an entrepreneur you said mm -hmm. one it's funny because I feel like there's not like a one thing plug and play you know yeah. like it's not like do this and you're gonna be successful <laughs> I'm sure you have your routine you talk about meditation and stuff yeah. me the first thing I do when I wake up I don't even, I'm like and I got my phone yeah. <laughs> That's the first thing I do <laughs> I get my phone yeah. so as you see we're totally opposite in that mm -hmm. sense but yeah. I feel there's no like a one you just gotta do what works for you yeah you know like it's like Oh, like for example, me, I like to work in the morning, mm -hmm. or like the the important thing, I like to put it in the morning, yeah. because if you put that in the last thing, maybe something happens, maybe yeah. this happens, and yeah. you end up like not doing it. So now yeah. I just like everyone has to like schedule their day. Or maybe you have three jobs, dude, yeah. and you can only do, you can work in your side hustle at like twelve at night. Yeah. So you're just gonna have to do it's it twenty four hours. Yeah, you're gonna day, have to yeah. do it the best way you can do it, yeah. right? In that moment yeah like everybody talks about like entrepreneurs they wake up early in the morning I don't wake up yeah, early yeah. Do you I have wake like up a, late like a special habit like yeah so I, I work mostly at night okay because everything is quiet okay I like I like to work at night and it's crazy and yeah sleep. totally opposite yeah to me. you see what I'm saying like everyone has their has their thing, yeah dude, that's and crazy. then when I had you know the jobs I hated waking up early because someone is telling you to get there yeah exactly. and you can't even sleep and it's, you know yeah. one of the things i want to really enjoy now yeah, yeah. is waking up whenever i want it's so know? funny because i'm the like, same way you yeah. remember i, I told actually i told him to meet at night and then i was like oh shit nine is early yeah. <laughs> 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 like, let's do 10. Yeah. i same i hated it waking up early just because yeah. like they told me to wake up mm -hmm. early so i'm like yeah. dude i don't need to wake up at 8 a.m yeah. i can wake up at 10 or 11. Yeah. And as to say, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Like those people that tell you, you gotta wake up at 4 a.m. to be successful, fuck that, that's yeah. bullshit, dude. Like, okay, you wake up at 4 a.m., what time are you going to sleep, at 10? Yeah. It's just how many hours exactly. you're working. Yeah. If you're working eight hours, 10 p like 12 at night to 8 a.m., mm -hmm. and you're like a savage there, yeah. fuck it, like exactly. just do, do it like that. Same you know? thing with a lot of people, you gotta read books. You don't yeah. have to read books, yeah, you can no. just watch content. Exactly. You know, I, I never like read books, but I watch Gary Vee, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. all those guys. I'm really good at apprehending from content. Exactly. You know? yeah. It's funny because one thing I always see in common, like I see in you guys, anyone that has had success, mm -hmm. and you can feel it, like <clears throat> they're confident. Yeah.